Welcome to Electronline. Before we tackle some pretty difficult concepts with planes and lines, we're going to review something, namely the projection of one vector onto another. So let's say, for example, that we're going to project the vector A onto the vector B, and that's right here, that's this distance right here, so we call that A times the cosine of theta. So if you draw another vector, and let me use a different color, where did my blue pen go? Right here. So this here could then be considered the vector a times the cosine of theta. So that's the vector a projected onto vector b. And then if we want to know the magnitude of that, so if we want to know the length of that, the magnitude, this distance right here, can simply be a times the cosine of theta. So how does that relate to taking the dot product? If we take the dot product, Notice that a dot b is simply the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle theta. So if we take a dot product, we get a scalar value back. But the scalar value will be the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them, which is not equal to the magnitude of a times the cosine of theta. So in essence, if we want to know just a times the cosine of theta, and we want to use the dot product, we should do the dot product with the unit vector b. So the unit vector b can be defined as being the vector b divided by its own magnitude. And so therefore, I can say that a times the cosine of theta can be accomplished by taking the a vector and taking the dot product with the unit vector of b. In other words, we take a times the dot product of b divided by the magnitude of b. And so that gives us a times the cosine of theta, which is the length of the vector a projected onto vector b. If we take a look over here, and we want to solve for a times cosine a cosine b, we divide both sides by b. And notice that on the left side we get a dot b divided by the magnitude of b, and that is therefore equal to a times the cosine of theta. And then you realize that the vector b divided by the magnitude of v, that can also be written as a dot times the unit vector b, is equal to a times the cosine of theta. So notice that either in this format or in this format, this is how we find the length of vector a when it's projected onto vector b, or in this case, we want to know the length of the projection of one vector onto another vector. And that is something that is very useful in the next several videos when we're trying to find the distance between planes, for example, or the distance between a line and a plane. But that's coming up next, so stay tuned and we'll show you how to use this technique to find the distance, the shortest distance, between two parallel planes, for example. And that is how it's done. Want to call it quit for the night? I do. What time is it? 7.21. Well, let's call it quits for the night.